In a match, young players have a lot of problem solving to do. They have endless decisions to make and they have endless choices. Space and time constantly change and players need to learn to recognize these changes, then use the spaces and that time wisely. Picking the right skill at the right time against the right opponent. They also need to take into account where their teammates are and where the opposition is coming from or heading to. The speeds and angles of their movements, their strengths and indeed their weaknesses. It's a constant process of assessment, adaption and reassessment and forms the basis of their tactical understanding. Good players make the right decisions at the right time and appear to be in the right place again at the right time. And this is no fluke. It might be a God-given talent for some, but it can also certainly be learnt and developed. As you watch the clips of players moving and playing in a game, consider the sort of things that players have to take into account before they make a decision you'll notice that most of the work they do is off the ball. Most of the perception skills that players develop are used to govern their movement, to receive a pass, make a tackle, an interception, or even a save. The short time players are in possession of the ball, consider what decisions they then have to make. After the clips have finished, review the work you do with your players and ask yourself how much opportunity in practice do your players have to work on these essential skills. Jordan, get on Jordan, get on Jordan, get on 